Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I've come to this lovely place, beautiful bit of Hertfordshire, got a lovely lake over there, great outlook. I've come over on the 1000 watt scooter, the Masane um, Wide Wheel Pro, and today I'm gonna to be talking about ham radio. Now for some of you, this might seem a little bit different to the stuff I normally do, but this channel actually started out doing ham radio stuff. Anyway, today we're gonna to be looking at the new Icom 705. So this is a completely portable radio. It's pretty much all mode apart from four meters, which is actually um, a little bit controversial. It runs on batteries. It actually uses the same battery as um, some of the Icom handhelds. And yeah, it is a incredibly compact little SDR radio. Anyway, more about that in a minute. I've also got an Alex loop here, which is a HF portable antenna. It's a loop, so it's meant to be super good for kind of portable operation. So you haven't got to string up a massive amount of wire. You can just quickly get this, even walk around pedestrian mobile with it. So that is something, that's what they say anyway. So today I'm going to be testing out this 705 with this Alex loop, see if we can get some contacts on HF and just basically show you what it's all about. Right then, let's try and get this thing set up. It's meant to be really easy, just literally all of it comes in the box of, or this bag. I've actually kind of played around with this a bit already and managed to get a contact um, inside the house at um, over to Slovenia at a five and five signal, which is pretty good. So you've got this particular one is the deluxe one, I think it's called, um, or I think it's, it's Premier with the tuning thing, but basically this particular model has an LED for tuning it on the front of it. So um, I think this was an option on the previous versions, but basically you just turn the tuner and this LED will light up. I mean, you can basically use that to tune it for peak power without an SWR meter if your radio hasn't got one, but probably better to have one in line anyway. Anyway, so you've got that tuning unit, you've got another piece of PVC pipe, you've got another bit that goes on the top and that's actually the, the loop itself or the smaller loop. And then you've got the big loop, which I'm going to need more hands to sort of do it. So what you've got to do is you've got to undo these um, little Velcro straps, which is quite a neat solution. Um, and then you kind of, this is basically a big bit of coax. I don't know if it is actually coax. It feels lighter than coax. So maybe it's got um, just wire inside it or something like that. But effectively, that's your loop. And then what you do is you put one side of it over here so you're putting that on there the loop is actually going on the same side as the smaller loop and um, the tuning boxes should also be on the same side as that as well hang on a minute so basically everything's supposed to be on the same side your big loop your small loop and your tuning unit and then you use these pl259 plugs basically to kind of you know join this up to the tuning unit anyway it's done pretty quick to set up so yeah this loop and the smaller loop and the tuning unit all go on the same. You've got the PL259 plugs nicely um, attached there and um, that is your antenna. So you do have a little bit of tube at the bottom which you can use to hold it if you want to do sort of pedestrian mobile or you can connect that to a tripod. So antenna done. All I need to do is connect the um, BNC plug which is probably in here somewhere. Oh there it is. All I need to do is connect that to the radio. That's it. That's your portable setup done. So get the antenna connected and then I'm going to turn the radio on and see that there it should start booting up so oh, ic705 so this is an sdr radio and it covers all of the hf bands and two meters and 70. Um, it doesn't have four meters and we'll keep saying that because there's a lot of people that are annoyed about that but <laughs> that is basically the case so at the moment we're on we want like two meters actually what we can do is use a little camera tripod there's a nice little um, mount on the bottom of it for a camera tripod, which is really cool. It's getting windy here, guys. I'm sorry if uh, this wind noise is going to be picking up. I'm doing my best with the uh, external mics and stuff. Right, okay, so not the most ideal position for the loop at the moment because I haven't got a tripod here, but I'm going to be holding this in, up in the air to try and you know get some signals in. But I have a feeling I won't actually need to do that to show you this kind of demonstration of the receiving of the signals. So ideally you want to go to somewhere like 40 metres, so like 7 megahertz in that region because that's kind of like a good band where there might be some activity. So at the moment you see absolutely nothing at all. Um, 
maybe there's a bit of something there so you can see the water for on the radio itself absolutely gorgeous screen um, you know this is the great thing about obviously the SDR part of this radio the fact that you can can see everything clearly you can actually see signals rather than just obviously hearing for them or listening for them so we what we've got to do now is we've got to actually tune the antenna to the to the band now this antenna has such a small bandwidth that it would be quite difficult to normally sort of tune this so what they actually suggest in the antenna manual is you tune this tuning knob here um, to look for peak noise on the radio and of course with uh, an SDR radio it's really easy to see so if we actually just turn this turn this knob you'll actually start to see the noise should increase pretty dramatically where are we so let's go right there you go so I'm just going to tune it up there we go look at that so you can actually see there's actually not that much noise on the band what we're looking at is the signals there so you can see how those signals have just basically just increased there and there's one sort of over there as well they've just increased by just turning this little little knob here so you're just basically increasing the resonance of that antenna to get um, it to resonate on the correct frequency you do find with this antenna you do actually have to tune it quite a lot if you're going to move around the band a bit you will actually actually have to tune it each time um, and of course this is only just tuned for reception so not tuned for transmit so let's have a little listen on the band see what we can hear and see if there's any chance that we might actually be able to sort of make contact with anyone Good morning, this is uh, Mexico Sex Whiskey Yankee Denmark. Mexico number six whiskey a Yankee Denmark calling CQ a calling CQ. So this guy's just popped up. Actually I didn't actually tune the radio at all. Um I've just literally CQ Forte, I'm gonna give him a go, meters, see if I can actually get this. From Mike six I need to plug Yankee the mic Denmark. in though. Mike six Juliet Kilo Alpha QRP. Kilo Kilo Delta go ahead. Yep, yeah, it's Juliet Kilo Alpha. Yeah, I've got you now, mate. Uh, you're, you're 5 and 2, 52, very low down in the back of my radio. Over, over. Yeah, Roger, just checking it was actually me. This is Mike 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha. Over. Yeah, OK, mate. Uh, whereabouts are you? Over. I'm in Hertfordshire. Over. Yeah, OK. Well, this, uh, this location, I am uh, 20 miles north of Manchester in the county of West Yorkshire in the village of Ormsworth, QSL. Yeah, Roger, no problem at all. Um, the town here is Hartford. Um, I'm QRP running 5 watts um, into an Icon 705 and an Alex loop, over. Yeah, you were good with, you were about 5 or 3, you yeah? 53 with QRM and QSB. Uh, 53 with QRM and QSB, QSL. Yeah, Roger, no problem at all. You're 5 and 9 over here. Um, the name's Andy. What's uh, the name over there? Okay, well, the name here is John. Uh, Juliet Oscar Hotel November. John, QSL? Yeah, okay, John. Well, nice to copy you over there. Um, this is the second second copy I've had on this uh, uh, contact I've made on this radio, so um, I've, all, all's looking quite good. I don't even think I've actually tuned the um, the loop quite right, so I was just actually doing a video for YouTube. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that'll be online soon, and you'll be able to um, see how you're coming across. But I'm running out of hands because I'm holding the loop in one hand, phone in another, and also trying to use the mic. So <laughs> apologies if the contact was a little bit, bit um, all over the place but uh, nice to copy there anyway um, and um, we'll catch you a bit further down from M6JKA yeah, well, uh, yeah no problem at all thanks for the contact 73s from M6JKA Going clear. Yeah, good morning. This is Mexico number six. So there you go. It was a bit difficult because I, was, <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that to even happen at this point. Um, so I just hadn't even tuned the antenna. I noticed the LED was kind of popping in and out as as it was um, as I was transmitting. So I think it is kind of in tune. But there you go. I mean, how crazy is that? Just first time, just whipped it out of the box and. Um, it works so there you go guys it's it, what more can i say so we'll try again i'm going to try and get this set up a little bit better and have another little test right so good success on there let's have a little tune up to um 20 meters and see so i'm going to turn the tuning thing might be able to actually hear the noise increase 
as well as see it, but you should see it. Let's go quite a way to get to the get to 40 meters, but we will get there. Right, raising up. There you go. Right on, right on there. Look, it's coming right up. So we'll have a tune around, see what we can actually hear. I might try with this station because the other one started talking uh, Italian, I think. <laughs> Got some interference though coming in. If I look at the thermometer, it says zero centigrade and white on the ground. Is that Roger Martin over? Just calling, sir. We'll try to pick him up before. I'm gonna have trouble getting in here. To go out I think. And do some work There's on a lot of stations, and this guy's house. quite powerful. Seventy three. Editor Delta Lima nine kilo tango. Mike six Juliet kilo alpha QRP. This is a strong station, you can see someone tuning up there going across there, look, um, on 18 megs, but I can't seem to get in because it's just, their overs are just so long. When I got back to England, it was the thing I... Yeah, the old rain's coming in now. I'm not going to be able to do this for much longer, this radio's getting wet. That's the great thing, so literally I've got like, I had like an hour to kill, and um, you know, got one little contact in, you know, no, it wasn't like, you know, the best conversation in the world, but if I set this up properly and was to do something a little bit more kind of professional with the um, with the loop, you know, maybe just get like a tripod and just put it on the top of that. I'm sure you could have a good afternoon of fun with that. Anyway, get this radio in the dry. It's the most important thing. Slap that in the bag and then uh, can dismantle this loop. So again, pretty easy to take down. It's the great thing about this, you can just whiz out, have a little play around with this and then uh, dismantle it. You haven't got wires up trees and all sorts of stuff like that. So as I say, I tried this the other day in the house, um, just holding the loop and um, basically got a contact in, uh, in Slovenia. So, you know, can't be all bad. That was on uh, 18 megs as well. So like the trick with all sort of QRP really is to try and find somewhere quiet where nobody else is and um, and try and, you know, have a little contact because the bigger stations run in massive power. You're not going to get over those. See, nice and neat. Goes in the bag. And now the rain stopped. So there you go. It's all in the bag, all ready to go. I can just jump on the scooter and go home now and get in the dryer. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it's a little bit different if you've been used to like electric bike stuff and all that kind of powertrain stuff. As I've said before, I want this channel to be a multi-tech channel covering loads of different tech stuff. This is another one of my interests, so hopefully I'll be able to do more videos. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.